seeds, we sow our seeds. This is the way we sow our seeds so early in the morning. And this is the way we sow our seeds, we sow our seeds, we sow our seeds. This is the way we sow our seeds so early in the morning. This is the way we sow our seeds, we sow our seeds, we sow our seeds. This is the way we sow our seeds so early in the morning. This is the way we sow our seeds, we sow our seeds, we sow our seeds. This is the way we sow our seeds so early in the morning. Well, let's look in. And see the seeds that the sower sowed. He sowed the seed of salvation. He sowed that seed. He sowed the seed of love. He sowed the seed of grace. He sowed the seed of joy. He sowed the seed of obedience. Obedience to God's word. He sowed the seed of divine healing. He sowed the seed of faith. And he sowed the seed of hope. We live in a hopeless generation, but the sower sowed the seed of hope. But these seeds, because the ground was so hard, their hearts were so hard, they could not take root. So they fell by the wayside. Oh. And the birds came. And the birds came. And the birds came. And they devoured the seeds. And they devoured. They ate up the seeds. Because the hearts were so hard. They ate joy. They ate love. They ate obedience. People want to do what they want to do. They ate the seeds. The sower tried to plant good seeds. But the birds, they came because the ground was so hard. And they could not take root. So the birds were eating the seeds that the sower sowed. The birds ate the seed of salvation. The birds ate the seed of love. They ate joy. These are the things that God wants us to have. He gives these things to us plentifully. But if our hearts are so hard, children, then God cannot get them in our hearts. And the birds will come. And they will take what God gives us. We want our hearts to stay soft so God can talk to us and God can show us the way. And that's our skit for this day. And we will begin with verse 3. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. This is the way we sow our seeds. We sow our seeds. Help him. We sow our seeds. Come on. This is the way we sow our seeds. So early in the morning. This is the way we sow our seeds. We sow our seeds.
sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. And some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth. My seeds, my flowers should be popping up. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> and forthwith they sprang up. But because they had no deepness of earth, when the sun was up, they were scorched and withered away. Can anybody tell me what has happened? Why they wither away? Why did they wither away? Because the ground, because the ground was too hard for them to grow. Oh, I have a smarty. Because the ground was too hard for them to grow. When we cast our our seeds on stones or in between stones, it's not enough. It's not enough earth, so they couldn't take root and they died. Mm -hmm. And that is what happened when you cast your seed on stony ground. It doesn't take root. And in this case, when tribulations and persecution came, when the sun got a little bit hot, when the gospel get a little bit too hot, when the word of God comes and it get too hot, they okay. withered and died. All right. Thank you, children. Thank you, sower. <laughs> I need some help. I see a lot of smart kids out there, a whole, whole lot of smart children out there. All right, I think this is what I'm going to do. My 11 and 12 year olds, every time you hear the word seeds, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 9, 10, 11, and 12, every time you hear the word seed or seeds, you're going to say, God only sows good seeds. Can we practice that? Yeah. All right, 9 and 10 year olds, 11 and 12 year olds. Seeds. God only sows good seeds. Uh, I think they can do better than that. Let's try it again. All those smart 9, 10, 11, and 12 year olds. Real enthusiastically, you are the star of my story. Seeds. Seeds. Every time you hear the word seeds, you got to say that. God only sows good seeds. Okay? All right, where's my three and four and five and six, you know? Three, four, and five and six. You got a part of my story, too. Every time you hear the word thorns, what's the word? Thorns. thorns you have to say, ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, let's practice that. Thorns. Thorns. Pretty big seven and eight crew, right? All right, seven and eight year olds. And I'm going to say all the helpers. Seven and eight year olds and all the helpers. Every time you hear the word choke, you have to make the choking sound. Choke. Choke. We got some good chokers out there, too. All right. One more practice. Seeds. One little boy helper, one little boy helper. Nathan. Come on, Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah's going to be my little guy named Miles. I'm going to give you this bag, Isaiah, okay? 
and you're just going to listen to my story, and there's some helpers that's going to help us out with it, all right? All right, everybody ready? Yeah! Listen for your words. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Miles. Yep, he loved to go to church and learn about God. Miles was seven years old. He was a good boy. One day in church, he heard Pastor Hampton preaching. Choose ye this day was his title. Miles looked up at his dad and he said, Daddy, I want to choose Jesus today. His dad looked down at him. What you say, son? Miles repeated himself. I want to choose Jesus today. Miles' dad smiled real big with tears in his eyes. He knelt down in his seat and prayed with his beautiful son. <laughs> son, today you have received some good seeds. God some good seeds. Be careful not to allow the thorns <laughs> to hurt you. What are thorns? <laughs> Daddy asked Miles. <laughs> thorns <laughs> are the cares of life and excuses that will choke <laughs> out a good seed. God Until we cannot see it anymore, replied Daddy. Okay, Daddy, I will take good care of my good seed. God and will not allow the thorns <laughs> to choke me. <laughs> Later on, Miles was reading a great Bible story. When his big brother walked into the room and said, Yo, Miles, I do not like you very much, but I need a partner to play with today. How about playing my new game, Grand Auto Theft? Miles replied, no, 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 no. I don't want to play that kind of game with killing and stealing on it. That might destroy my good seed. Oh man, it would be fun. Like old times. I don't get to spend much time with you anyways. You my little squirt. He reached over and rubbed his fist in Miles' head. Miles began to think, hmm, okay, maybe one time won't hurt. The next day, Miles went to school and somehow he checked on his seat and it had a Yes, thank you, Sister Di. <laughs> he checked on his seed. God only sows good seed. And it had a little partner with him. He was very sad. He shook his head. He said, well, it's only one weed. No more. But later on the playground, Miles' best friend said, look at ugly Shana over there. <laughs> With her broke glasses, crusty nose, and dirty stinking clothes. <laughs> yeah, they all laughed, pretty much like you're doing right now. Miles didn't want to laugh. He really wanted to help his friend Shauna, but he gave in to the peer pressure and he started slapping his knees and cracking up laughing too. On his way home, Miles found another weed. And it was growing taller than the last one. He pulled it back to see where his seed was. God sows good seeds. It was still there, but barely, he thought to himself, no more thorns, <laughs> weeds. By the time Miles went home for dinner, his sister was setting the table, and he just felt very sad. He got two weeds hiding out his little seed. God his sister I'm oh, sorry, I forgot the way. <laughs> his sister yelled at him, Miles, get your stuff off the floor and get in here and do the dishes. It's your day. Miles just couldn't help himself. You do them if you care so much. You are not my mother, he screamed. 
Mom came running into the kitchen. Miles, what has God did to you? You do not talk to your sister that way. Go to your room. Miles packed up his book bag. He walked into his room, slamming his door. Miles lay on the bed, throwing his tennis ball against the wall. He felt so terrible that he did not dare look into his bag to check on his good seed. He knew that the light had been choked <laughs> out of it in the thorns that he met that day. He heard a light knock on the door, and he knew it was his dad. How disappointed his dad must be. Miles said, come in. Dad said, hi, Miles. I won't ask you how your day went today, but may I see your seed? God only so good Miles begrudgingly lifted up his bag and gave it to his dad. Dad's face looked surprised as he began to see all the thorny weeds pop out taller. Then he stood. Where's your seed, son? It's okay. Miles broke into tears. Daddy, I don't know what happened. First, my brother asked me to play that awful game. Then my friend laughed at Shana, and I wanted to help her, but I couldn't. And they didn't want to make them fun, make fun of me, too. Then my sister screamed at me, and my mom punished me, too. I was so mad that I slammed my door, and the thorny <laughs> weeds began to grow taller and taller, laughing at me. And my little good seed, he sobbed it all in one whole breath. Dad leaned down and held him close. Miles, the enemy loves to create thorns in our lives so that our good seeds will not grow and produce fruit. We have to be watchful. We have to be constantly making good choices and check on our seeds. God only sows good seeds. Just because we do not see our seed, God only sows good seeds. Does not mean that the thorns are taking over. Here, let me help you give this seed. God only sows good seeds. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me help you give, let me help you um, find the seed. <laughs> a little bit down here, let's see here. Wow, they're pretty choked up. <laughs> ah, there's our little seed. God only sells good seeds. Miles picked up his book bag. And he walked to his room. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we lost our praise. I'm sorry, children. Hold on. <laughs> you picked that up off the floor? <laughs> okay, sorry. Now, let's pray that we can be more watchful and make good choices so that the enemy doesn't choke <laughs> out our good seeds. God, we sell good seeds. With all those thorns, <laughs> weeds anymore. He apologized. They prayed together and Miles was happy again. He apologized to his mother for the thorns <laughs> of disrespect and attitude. He apologized to his sister for being so mean to her. That's an awful thorn. <laughs> Then he apologized to Shana for not being a good friend when she needed one. He apologized to his brother, too, for not standing up against that awful gang. That would have been the right thing. Boy, he did a lot of apologizing. He felt so much better now. He checked on his seed. And it looked quite healthy, without any thorns attached. More of the story. Don't let your good be choked <laughs> out the end. <laughs>
Yes, yes. 